Osama Nizal, he's a Palestinian affairs analyst and joins me from Janine in the occupied West Bank. Uh, what do you make of this attack? Why do you think we're seeing these Israeli airstrikes now? Yeah, uh, first of all, we need to understand that the Israeli aggression against the Palestinian people is not new. And this military operation, as Israel calls it, is just one part of the continuing Israeli aggressions against the Palestinians. How many Palestinians were killed in the city of Nablus in Northern West Bank and also in the city of Jenin and abduction of senior official of the Islamic Jihad movement from Jenin refugee camp Saadi. So we are talking about an aggression continued by the colonial settler power called Israel, which has one aim, denying the rights of the Palestinians to existence and doing everything for removing the Palestinians from their country, Palestine. What kind of escalation do you think this could lead to? Uh, the, already a very tense situation, of course, in the region. Uh, what sort of retaliation might we see? Are we looking at the potential for a, a full-fledged war here? Yeah. Uh, we can't talk about a full-fledged war because the Palestinians don't have an army, they don't have war jets, they don't have tanks to face one of the uh, most powerful military forces in the Middle East, Israel. But this, at the same time, doesn't mean that the Palestinian people are lifeless and they are going to keep silent on these crimes. The situation that the Palestinian people have is very complicated. In the West Bank, it is divided into cantons. Gaza has been under the siege since 2006. It is impoverished the clave of territory. And the United Nations said many times in its report that it is not suitable for a human life now in the Gaza Strip. So it's impossible to talk about war between two parties, as if the Palestinians were a state with army planes and tanks. But the Palestinian resistance and the Palestinian struggle against the Israeli occupation will continue until the Palestinian dream becomes a true independence, a freedom, and justice. I think that Israel cheated and deceived the Egyptians and all the parties that were negotiating just before it started this aggression on Gaza. And so it is the responsibility of all the Arab and Muslim nations, as well as the international community, to intervene and tell Israel to stop pure crimes against the impoverished enclave of the Gaza Strip. I think it's a regional, international, a human issue that should not be limited to the Palestinian people only. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now.